Baby girl just over there staring at me. She's just like peeking over the pile of clothes. It's like, what mommy doing? Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all, your girl got her Allure box and I am super excited for this one. They got some rich big makeup in there. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. This will be my third Allure box. So far, the Allure box has been one of my favorites. I'm not even gonna lie. The products that I get in there, I actually really like and I've been using consistently. This is what she looks like when you open her up. This is the Valentine's Day, you know, it's February. This is super freaking cute. The first item I have in here is by Ahava, and it is Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. And this is what this looks like. Ooh, it is safety sealed. Good for you, Ahava. You know, I love a good safety seal. That way I know nobody getting my stuff. Ooh, she thick. She thick, thick. Ooh. Bruh, it smells like a vino. It smells really good and it went into the skin very nicely. Like it doesn't feel sticky at all. And I hate, absolutely hate sticky lotions. They are so gross. This does not feel sticky at all. This next one is by Happy Skin. Wait, is it by Happy Skin or Lush? I think it's by Lush. It is the enzymic, I think that's how you say it, enzymic, enzymic facial exfoliator. Now y'all know I love a good exfoliator. You get 1.7 fluid ounce, no, 1.7 ounces. It was made by Fiat, 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 no, the I is in it first. Is it fat? F-A-I-T, par, fat par? I don't know how to read that name, but this is the dude who made my stuff. Ooh, and it's made with biodegradable ingredients, which is good to know. Ooh, look at that. That looks nice. Does it have a smell? Hmm, it has like a really thick, very thick, thick kind of texture to it. Oh, okay. It has like the softest of grits. It reminds me of the grit that's in MD Fadden. That one, the doctor scrub, it reminds me of that with half the grit. <laughs> the same size grit, but just half the grit. And that feels actually really good. It smells good too. It smells almost like vanilla. <laughs> It's giving me vanilla vibes. The next thing that I'm seeing in here is by See, it has funny writing, so I can't tell what that said. It just had the funniest of writings. Okay, so this is by Jasmine Beauty, and it is a brow boss brow styling wax. It's so itty bitty. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a deluxe mini. I've never really used a brow gel. I think it's for like that soap brow look. I've never actually tried that, but since I have this, I might as well give it a try at some point. Ooh, it's just like clear. It looks like a little Petri dish. Like you can grow some bacteria up in there. You probably could. I'm gonna have to watch like a few tutorials and see how you're supposed to use this, but that's actually really cool and it's adorable. It's so itty bitty and cute. The next thing is by Commodity by milk and y'all know I love a matte with like the shiny up against it. I think that is just so luxurious and pretty. This I believe is a fragrance. Hopefully it don't stink. Just, just please don't stink. Baby girl just over there staring at me. She's just like peeking over the pile of clothes. Just like, what mommy doing? This is just a little fragrance. Just one little spray, one little spray. Mmm, it actually doesn't smell bad. Hey, hey beautiful mom life. This actually doesn't smell bad. Hold on, let me see if my man like how it smells. If he don't like how it smells, then we, it's a no for me. But let's see how he like it. It is my man approved. It doesn't smell super florally. It has like a sweet, rich scent to it. So I actually really like this. The next thing is by Natural Multitasking Skincare. And it is a tri Balm Cleanse, Exfoliate, Moisturize, three in one. That means I could skip a step. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Ooh, I like how this feels. It has that kind of matte texture to it. It's just a little cleansing balm, maybe like a travel size. Let's see how much it rolls up. Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. Maybe this is full size. That is a lot of product. Let me get that back in there before I break it or drop it on the floor. Apply directly from the stick or use fingertips. Gently massage onto dry skin using upward movements. Rinse off with warm water. Use a muslin cloth, flannel, or simply tissue it away. Ideal as a face mask. Ooh, leave on for 10 minutes for added hydration. Oh, so you can use this as a face mask. I'm probably not gonna use this as a cleansing balm. I will use this as 
as a face mask. That way, when I'm putting it on, my skin is already clean. The final item, which is the star of the show, my Rich B lipstick. This is by Yves Saint Laurent, and this is the Rouge Velupte, Velupte, Velupte Shine Oil in Stick. Brilliance and color, color, a porter, <laughs> ready to care and shine lip color. I don't know if you can see it. It might be a little too shiny. Ooh, you can see yourself a little bit. You can see yourself. That is nice. Now, I've never owned a fancy lipstick before. This will be probably one of the fanciest things I own, along with that uh, Charlotte Silbury. Ooh, it's even prettier in person. Look at that. That is absolutely adorable and lovely and just expensive looking. Bruh, get into it. That color is beautiful and the stick is literally perfect. Man, it almost makes me not want to wear it just so I could keep it pretty forever. But no, I'm going to wear it. I am going to wear my rich lipstick. It has a nice metal to it. It looks, looks Expensive. Probably because it is. And I just love this like ring that it has around the like lipstick tube. I think that is so pretty. Even though she's she's expensive, we are still going to swatch her to see how she performs. Let's let's go on the inner arm. Ooh, <laughs> hydrating, glossy, satin finish. That is beautiful. I have it in the color, where's the color? Burnt Zellige, Zellige? Burnt Zellige, Burnt Zellige? Burnt something, it's burnt, okay? It is a burnt color, <laughs> Zellige. I think that's how you say it. That sounds fancy, right? Burnt Zellige. When I saw that this was coming, I got so excited. I didn't care about anything else in the box. I was just excited to get this fancy fancy lipstick. She got a system where nice and fancy. So I'm gonna put her next to the Louis Vuitton. Let's go ahead and get into these prices. Okay, let's see if we're gagging. First and foremost, we have the Yves Saint Laurent Rouge Velupte Shine Lipstick Balm. This is full size. It will run you $43 for a lipstick. $43 for 0.11 ounces. That's a lot of money for a lipstick. You know what I can do with 40 something dollars? I can do a lot with $43. I can feed a whole family twice with $43. And the different colors you could have got this one in was Nude Lingerie, Nude Lavalier, Lavalier, the Burnt Zellige, which is the one I got, and then Rosewood Beats. So those are the colors you could have gotten it in. Very pretty. All of the colors are nice. Honestly, like you would come up if you just bought four boxes, you'd have four of these lipsticks for like $25 along with a bunch of other stuff that are also really nice. That is a steal. The next item is in here is the Ahava Moisturizer. Now this is, ooh, this is expensive too. I'm a real rich man. This one is $78 for 75 milliliters and this is full size. So for this, you looking at $78. That's wild. That's wild for some fancy Aveeno. I joke, I joke, I kid. It is a wonderful moisturizer. It felt really good. The next item is this Formula Prescott Tri Balm Cleanser Stick. And this is 0.71 ounces. And this gonna run you $40. And this is full size as well. I don't know if it's nice yet. We'll give it a try. They do give you a lot of product in here. So I'm very excited to get into this. The next item is by Lush Happy Skin. <laughs> Excuse me, I don't know what that was. <laughs> this is by Lush Happy Skin and it is 100 grams and it will run you $26. That's a lot for a little, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. That's a lot for this little itty bit thing. The Milk Commodity Bold will be, Wait, hold up. I think I read that wrong. Oh, okay. This is not 100 grams. This is 50 grams. For the full 100 grams, it's gonna be $26. That means this is like 13. And then this Commodity Milk Bold fragrance for 100 milliliters, you look in... For 100 milliliters, you're looking at $145. We got five milliliters, so I'd have to divide, I'd have to do math, and I don't feel like doing math. Let's just say this little bit is probably very expensive. And the last thing is by Jasmine Beauty Brow Boss Styling Wax. This is five grams. For 10 grams, you're looking at $20. So $10 for this little itty bitty thing. And that is everything that was in my Allure box. 
Y'all, this box is popping. <laughs> I'm not sure out of the three which one I like the best because they've all been really freaking good. I'm going to say that the Allure Beauty Box is probably my favorite that I get out of all of my boxes because the price point is phenomenal. I mean, for all these things, I literally paid only $25, maybe like a little tax or handling fee or whatever. It is not that expensive. And I got a bunch of really, really nice things in this box. And they're always consistently give you nice stuff, high end products, things that you could actually use, things that you could fall in love with. I still have three more beauty subscriptions that I have yet to try out. And that is the Macy's beauty box, which they just charged me for. So I should be getting that soon. My P. Louise box, which I don't know when I'm going to get that because it's coming from the UK and I don't even know when they're going to ship it. We'll get that when we get that. And then the last one is the Slay Glam beauty box, which they've shipped to me. So i am be trying that out soon. Even though they didn't wrap them up, for some reason, they're not broken. <laughs> I will say that I do hope that moving forward, they start to bubble wrap just in case, because I would have been devastated if this came in the mail broke. Well, not super devastated because it is a material item. I mean, it's not like, you know, my life is going to be completely different because I have this new fancy lipstick. But I digress. I hope they start using bubble wrap. Sometimes these post people will be just flying at things. That's my only critique. But other than that, I love this box. I love it so much that I gifted it to my sister. Hopefully she can love it too. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a fave. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Mm -hmm.